Hi guys, today's vlog carries on directly from the last two and is a continuation of the series Addiction, A Diary of Recovery, Scott's uh, Daily Diary. So yeah, if you haven't seen the last two of my vlogs, firstly, why not? And secondly, go and watch them. It will really help you to understand this video and um, the ongoing uh, weekly update. So today we're going to get into Scott's first full week. Uh, again, just briefly, the first video was addiction in general. Um, the the last one was uh, Scott's day one and intro. And this is bringing days two to seven, his first week. So enough of me. Let's get into Scott's uh, day two. <coughs> okay, day two. Last night, a little bit tricky. Struggled to sleep. Sweated a lot. Worked nice. <laughs> sort of remember now why giving up is so hard. You know, you've got to figure out ways to occupy your time. And the sleeping bit is horrible. Like nightmares. It's horrible. But it won't last forever. But I just want to share something that my mind tried to do to me. My mind tried to, tried to trick me. Last night, my mind was going, Scott, like, you know there's people out there like, addicted to crack and heroin? Like, you're, you're worried about weed, bruv. Like, weed's nothing. Like, you can have a little joint. Like, you can have a joint. Like, like one joint a night. You can do that. Honestly, that was going on in my head. I was trying to, like, justify to myself to go and get one. It's bad. That is addiction. <laughs> but uh, today I woke up, felt a little bit fresher. Done a nice training session today. Just run, I just run five and a half miles today. And like, my room's immaculate. Like, I've made food today, made breakfast, I've made dinner. Instead of going out and buying quick ready meals or takeaways. So, day two, productive productive still very early days just got to take it one day at a time and today is day two so there was scott's day two and and right off the bat we see some of the issues that will uh, come up you know the the mind and i mean really for me the essence of all uh, addictions and substance abuses is the the mental aspect that yeah, the, the mind craves it more than the body does sometimes. And like Scott uh, was saying there, you know, he was self-aware enough to be aware of these thoughts that, you know, it will be all right, go on. What does it matter? Look at everyone else. And so it was really good that he could uh, see that really clearly and, and know not to uh, identify with those thoughts and, and follow through with those thoughts. And another interesting thing is is how productive you can be. You know, if you're not indulging in some of these things, frees up a lot of time to uh, to get productive and uh, yeah get your house in order so that's great stuff on to day three okay day three feeling fresher um before i talk about today i just want to touch on yesterday after i done my video um <clears throat> i sent my videos over to a lovely gentleman called lewis who is collaborating me with with me on this. Um, I mean, I've given up um, before, and I've always started again. So I need to figure out what my triggers are, so that I can avoid them in the future. Or when something does happen, it's normally a trigger. It doesn't actually make me go back. And he's very kindly agreed to help me. So thank you to him. He did give me a great analogy yesterday about. The paths you take, you know, like if you want to, if you if you was crossing a field, you'd naturally go to the worn down, trodden in bit and follow that path. But what I need to do is create a new path. Probably didn't explain it as good as he did, but you get the gist. And last night I really struggled to sleep, nightmares. Um, I think it was about half two when I fell asleep. And what I said to myself was, I'm setting my alarm for half five and I'm getting up. I don't care if I've had two hours sleep, three hours sleep, half five, every morning I'm getting up and I'm training. And eventually my body will catch up and I will start falling asleep at a reasonable time. <laughs> so 
touch wood. That is the plan. But um, so today, got up half five, only had a couple of hours sleep. I had some breakfast, went to the gym, done a bit of swimming, went to work. And what a day I've had. I mean, it's seven o'clock. I've just walked through the door. Been up since half five. I've driven halfway around the south of England, Leicester, Birmingham, Dudley, and back. Done three appointments today and sold on every single one. One of them failed the finance agreement, so we couldn't close it today, but he's going to do cash, so boring stuff for you. But 100% conversion rate, three in a day is unheard of. It doesn't happen, yeah? 30% is where you want to be. 30% is average. Anything below 30%, then you're you're gonna get you're gonna get pulled up. Anything over 30% that most um, sales companies are happy with. So I was only really expected to sell one out of the three today, and I sold all three. And it's not a coincidence. It's not. I feel good. I look a little bit fresher. Feel a lot fresher. And my head's a bit clearer. And I'm I'm having the highs that I've always had but without the lows that always come with it when you're using. So today, day three, what a fucking day it was for me. So day three, we'd had a chat the previous evening and we addressed some of the, the sleeping issues and the, the issues with the mind. And one thing um, that Scott's really got in his favour is, is, is positivity. He's a very positive uh, um, person and, you know, you heard it there. He even saying about the sleeping's a big issue for him, but he's just going to persevere and he's going to push through it. And, and that's what you need if you're going to uh, make a change in your life. You need uh, to be positive and you need to be optimistic. And another thing um, that's really good for him, for Scott, is that his job, his job takes a lot of his time and, and mental energy up. And it's uh, obviously a sales job and he can focus his attention on that and uh, give a lot of time and energy and thought towards his work which is again taking it away from um, the, uh, the 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 addictive habits and tendencies that he wants to move away from so uh, yeah we, we cleared a lot up in our chat and he's ready to move forward